I was feeling lost and helpless. All sort of questions ran through my mind for the longest time. All I can think of was my family, my wife, my two daughters. Hello, my name is Chris Woon. I'm a cancer survivor. Hello everybody, my name is Yunin and I'm 22 this year. When I was first diagnosed, I was at the age of 19. Hi everyone, my name is Steffi and I'm a 28 year old breast cancer survivor. What were you diagnosed with and how old were you at that time? So basically I was diagnosed with ductal carcinoma in situ which means DCIS for short, or in simple terms, it means stage 0 breast cancer. So at that time, I was diagnosed at the age of 27 years old, around 2020 last year, August. I was diagnosed with nasopharyngeal cancer, NPC, stage 3. I was 52 then. How did I discover it? Um... I was having a very bad sore throat at that point of time for about 3 to 4 weeks and I was having swelling at my neck area. That was the time I decided that I should go for a checkup and I found out about it. I was having some sort of ear block on my left ear for a period of 2 to 3 weeks. Just couldn't get rid of it. I went to a specialist, ENT, to check it out. The dog did a scope through my nose and found a growth. And then he took some sample tissues for biopsy. When the biopsy result came in, it indicates the growth was a cancerous tumour. So it all started in 2019 where I had a blood discharge from the nipple on my left side of my breast where it started bleeding profusely and even though after cleaning and proper hygiene care and uh, after taking medications it was still bleeding for a few weeks and few months so i went to see a proper breast surgeon and he told me the best method for this is to remove the milk duct a few months down the road about five months plus after my surgery the, I realized that my left side of my breast was starting to feel a little bit different. I felt a slight lump above my breast and it was not during my period or anything. It was just a normal day where I was showering where I found out that it felt a bit lumpy. After doing the mammogram and the breast biopsy and ultrasound, uh, that's where the test result came out. And it told me that I have early stage uh, breast cancer. I was stunned after receiving the news. I was feeling lost and helpless. All sort of questions ran through my mind for the longest time. At the end, all I can think of was my family my wife, my two daughters. What kept me going during this whole journey? Support and support and support. What do I mean? It's so important to have a supportive team of doctors and nurses that work with me during and after the treatments. Supportive family that often have to deal with my emotions, the ups and downs, definitely more downs than up. What kept me going was the will to live. Like at this age, who want to die at a very young age? I, I personally myself want to live as old as my grandmother, to enjoy life, to 
experience the ups and downs of、uh, living a normal being life. So I want to experience all that, like having children, growing up,、uh, having my own house, and growing old, seeing my friends growing old. So I guess one thing that drove me was the will to live, to live until a very ripe old age. In this journey, it has changed my priority in life definitely. Now. I tend to take life a day at a time. I learn to appreciate and be grateful for all those people that's around me. I would say it's a adventure of a lifetime. Of course, it's not fun. There's、uh, highs and lows of、um, during that period. So yes, it did change me in a few aspects. Number one is my lifestyle changes, especially with the food that I take. Uh, secondly, is、um, to take things not so seriously because cancer itself is a very serious thing. It's a life and death kind of thing. It taught me how to be at peace with myself. What's one thing I wish others knew about cancer? Early cancer detection is so very important, as it could save your life. Catching the cancer early, I do believe, is still more treatable. And don't take your medical checkup lightly. Is what is your advice to people fighting cancer right now? To all my cancer survivors and cancer fighters, I understand the journey may be hard for you guys, and it may be very painful and lonely as well. But do not give up. Understand that we have each other to、um, support each other. Cancer is just one chapter of our life, but it's not the whole story. For those who are currently battling with cancer, don't lose hope. My message to all cancer patients out there: Do not be afraid because you're not alone, and always have faith in yourself because you can do it.